What's going on guys, my name is Airfade and today I'm here to show you my 1995 Porsche 911 GT2 drag tune. Now this is a tune that uses the stock uh, GT2 engine, makes 971 horsepower fully upgraded, and of course the main focal point of the build, not only is it a drag tune, but it is a drag wheelie tune. And this thing likes to wheelie guys, so let's not waste any time and hop right into it. Alright, so hopping in uh, over to conversion, like I said, we are going to be keeping the stock engine. You can also swap in the 4 liter flat 6, um, but fully upgraded, they both make about the same horsepower wise, but uh, the stock engine makes a lot more torque than the flat 6 does. Uh, leaving it rear wheel drive, and then we are putting on the RWB wide body kit. Uh, not only is this an aesthetic looking kit, but it also allows you to put a lot wider tires on the back, so that's very helpful for us. Uh, arrow and appearance, we're not doing anything to the rear wing. If anything, we wish we could chop that thing off, but uh, we're just going to be leaving it, obviously. Uh, drag tires, uh, all the way skinny in the front, and then 365s in the rear, which is very wide. Uh, it's stock, I believe, if you don't have the RWB kit, the, uh, the max you can get is 325s, so... That's a pretty big upgrade there with the, the wide body kit. Uh, and then wheels wise, you can go with whatever wheels you want to go. Uh, I chose the whole shot wheels whole star. I would recommend something on the lighter side. Because um, if you look around here, all these wheels are a lot heavier than the ones I've chosen. So preferably something on the lighter side, but pick whatever you want. Um, and then hopping over to the drivetrain. Uh, we've got race clutch, the race transmission race driveline and the drift differential. The drift differential lets you shift your drag cars a little bit faster. Fun fact. Um, maybe not a fact, but it's just speculation. Uh, brakes, we've got race brakes, rally suspension, uh, no, uh, no let's see, roll cage, and then uh, full race weight reduction. And then as far as the engine is concerned, it's just a fully built engine. I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it and, uh, and show you each one, but yeah, just fully built the engine. Uh, all the way from the intake to the exhaust, displacement, uh, and all that fun stuff. I, I skipped out on the end here, but yeah, fully upgrade everything, race flywheel, race turbos, everything, and that will leave you at 971 horsepower, 819 torque, and uh, 2,443 pounds. So pretty good there, and uh, with that, we are done with the, the build, so let's take this thing out and head to the track. Alright, so now that we're at the track, let's open up the tune and break it down for you guys right here. Uh, so with the tire pressure, we got all the way low, 15 in the rear and uh, 30 in the front. Uh, and then gearing wise, this is the main bread and butter of the build. Uh, we got 260 final drive, 406, 264, 182, 139, 107, and 83. And that is the, uh, the tune for you. Uh, it is basically a four gear tune if you're going to the quarter mile. Um, if you're opening it up past that, you'll end up going to fifth gear, but it holds the power. Um, alignment wise, all zeros and then seven at the front. Uh, all the way stiff on the front and rear for the anti roll bars. Uh, and then for the springs, we got uh, all the way soft in the front and then about 500 in the rear and ride height all the way up. And dampening wise, this is where the wheelie comes in. Um, so at the front, you got 2.4. Uh, at the rear, you got 6.6. .6, and then bump stiffness in the front and rear are at 20. Uh, you can kind of mess around with these and, and adjust the wheelie accordingly to how you want it. Um, but this uh, this allows you to, to, to wheelie. It's pretty maintained. Um, it doesn't go uh, too crazy with itself. Uh, and then no arrow, nothing to do with the brakes, and then 100% on acceleration and deceleration. So that is the tune, and so let's break it out here and basically show you guys how this thing launches. So uh, if you don't know how to launch in this game, you just hold down the brake or the e-brake, and then hold the throttle, and then you just release. And as you can see there, 
uh, it does a pretty big wheelie and it, you can hold that wheelie throughout two gears and uh, yeah it's pretty it's a pretty good wheelie um, you can kind of feel it when uh, when you're actually driving the car that it doesn't there's no abruptness to the wheelie you kind of uh, it, it's very gentle in, in picking it up and putting it down um, and then you can kind of get all the way through second gear almost with it before it even touches the ground so uh, it's pretty solid uh, if you're going for you know a hundred under a hundred or under a thousand horsepower builds uh, and you're racing with your friends not only you whip this thing out um, and potentially beat them but uh, you'll look very stylish doing so so, I, as you can see there, yeah, it, it goes all the way to the end of second gear, basically. And uh, it's smooth the whole time, and it's just delivering power. And, you know, the wheelie is just a fun side effect. So, that's about uh, all you have to do. Let me show you guys what it will do to the quarter mile if you were to uh, do such a thing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, 440 yards is the quarter mile in this game, or, or just in real life. Uh, 440 yards equals a quarter mile. Uh, so if you set your destination to the speed trap at the end and line up 440 yards behind it, that is a quarter mile. So let's give it a whirl here. And it traps at 163. Uh, you do just about run out of fourth gear at the end there. Uh, but most of the time if you're just kind of doing drag races uh, since there's no legit quarter mile in this game anymore um, you're kind of just going to be going to the end of the track so uh, but that is the time that it would make there um, we'll, we'll go from the track one more time and uh, from the start of the track and just see what it traps if you were to, uh, to fully let it loose but yeah this thing it's a, it's a heck of a lot of fun you can definitely show off to your friends uh, if you whip it out and uh, yeah, it's just a good time. And so sometimes, as you just kind of saw right there, sometimes it doesn't wheelie as hard. And that's okay, because it still delivers the exact same power. Um, and yeah, 191.43 across the speed trap. So pretty good build for a uh, under 1,000 horsepower stock engine car. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave some comments on any other builds you might want to see. I'm going to keep on pumping these guys out these uh yeah these guys i guess you can use that word uh keep on pumping these videos out and uh just keep on sharing some awesome tunes with you guys so thanks so much for watching and goodbye